This is how to pick the right crate size for your puppy. When it comes to picking out your crate, size really does matter. If I have a crate that's a little bit too big for him, that means it will lead to him pacing back and forth, he'll be having a ton of potty accidents, or it could even be considered a large territory that makes him uncomfortable because he knows he can't protect it. If the crate is too small, that means that one, he can't lay down comfortably. He should be able to do a full circle in there, lay down and still be able to put up his head. This is an example of a crate that's way too small. For a crate that's just right, he should be able to go in there, do a full circle and lay down comfortably. And if you have a dog that likes to sprawl out a little bit longer, you might even need one a size up from there. This is a crate that is much too large for Blue Steel, as you can see. If I open it and put him inside, one he can barely get over the lip. I close it. You can see that he'd be able to pace back and forth, which builds anxiety. He might even dedicate a certain area of the crate to going potty inside of it. And that's just, that's a no-go. That's not what we want. Blue steel break. Yeah, good job. Now let's move to our small crate. With the crate is much too small, you can tell one by just lining your dog up next to it. If I put him next to it, he can barely fit in there. His back is already taller than the crate itself, so that would be much too uncomfortable for him. He couldn't do a circle, he couldn't lay down comfortably. This crate is a no-go. And finally, we have the perfect fit. So when I open it up and put him in there, he can sit or down comfortably. When he sits, his head isn't touching, and when he's down, his front and back legs aren't touching the front or the back. That is a comfortable feel for him. Very important that our crate always grows with our puppy. So when Blue Steel was half the size, he was eight weeks old till he was about 16 weeks old, that would have been the perfect crate for him. As he grows and he starts getting bigger and his head starts touching the top of the crate, I want to make sure I grow my crate with my puppy. That's why he's in a crate this size. He should be able to do that full circle into a down or in a sit without his head touching the top. For all of you out there with a large breed dog, if you guys go the plastic crate route, it can get pretty pricey. You might be buying this one all the way to two times this one and all the sizes in between. My recommendation for large breed dogs is get two metal crates. Start with one that's about this size, if not a little bit bigger, and put a divider in the middle of it. And then fill in the space behind the divider. If your puppy can see that open space, it's unaccessible to them. It can lead to stress or anxiety because they're always digging to try to get to it. So cover the space and it'll help your puppy feel like they're in a smaller area. As you pull out that divider and they grow to fill out that crate, that's usually when you'll need the larger size. You don't have to get it right away. You might even want to wait to see how big your puppy looks like they're going to get. Usually that can give you a pretty good estimate of that. And that's when I'll bring in my larger metal crate and I'll still, again, put that divider in. So you only have to purchase two crates instead of the five or six of the plastic ones. Most important is don't forget to constantly check the size of your puppy in the crate. We tend to get lax, we tend to get comfortable, but if you ever look in that crate and see their head is kind of slouching down, not good for the neck, not good for the joints, you're ready to up the crate size. And even if I, I know I mentioned two crates, the metal small and the metal large, if I'm in a medium metal crate and my dog is long enough and fits in there, but it's not tall enough, you are ready to upgrade to a larger crate. If you want some more tips to help your puppy love the crate, check out our online school with the link below. And don't forget, like and subscribe.